How are you? Fine. Oh, outrageous. I just expect doors to open for me. We have five years with our kids here. They join us as children in year seven and they leave us as young adults at the end of year 11. These ones are lethal. And our job, every day that they are here, is to get them ready for life outside those school gates. You're a disaster, aren't you? You're a disaster waiting to happen. That and getting wedged under the bus shelter. Hopefully they leave here a lot more confident, ready to take on anything that life throws at them. Hello. Hello, Miss. How are you? All right. Hello, Hello Miss. Morning, Miss Hazel. Hello. Hello. Hey, you out? Oh, yes, I'm all right. Good. Hello, sir. Okay. See you. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye, Christopher. Bye. 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 15-year-old Christopher is in year 10. Hello. He's one of 12 autistic students at Frederick Bremer. Uh, Hello, Christopher. Oh, Good morning, Christopher. I'm fine. How are you? Yes, I'm fine, too. What is autism, Christopher? Well, I think autism is like irregular social skills, mental skills and life skills. Are you having cereal today, Christopher? Yeah, I'm having cereal. Hello. Hello. People with autism, they have a different view of life. It's quite innocent, it's quite fragile, um, it's, it's quite fragile, but yeah, it's hard like a rock. Bye. Bye. And have a positive day. You too. Oh. So lovely. Have a positive day. That is what you need. That is what you need yeah. in the morning. He is like I medicine. He is. A spoonful of Christopher a day. Yeah. <laughs> that is all you need, honestly. Morning, Chris. You gotta keep that smile on all I am day, keep yeah? That smile on all day. Okay. Thank you very much. Should someone like Christopher be in a school like this? Definitely. Good. And what kind of day are you gonna have? A positive day. I like Miss Smith. Someone like Christopher learns so much from being in a mainstream school. Yeah, I'm alright, Alice. Being able to interact and being able to socialise and being able to work with other young people. Christopher has just started his GCSEs. He attends 15 hours of mainstream lessons a week. Sorry, I like to walk, run slow motion. Hello, Chris. It's the first lesson of the day and Christopher is in his poetry class. Now I hold creation in my foot or fly up and revolve it all slowly. Christopher, do you want to give us a verdict as to what this poem gave to you? It has this view, this perspective of being on top of the food chain. It has the power to do anything similar to a king. Excellent. That's an excellent And the servants answer. have to bow down to them, and the servants are referred to the prey. Well and the done. king is the predator. Can you see how he actually looks at this, guys? That is absolutely brilliant. Did you write that down, Christopher? No, Could I didn't. Could you write it down, please? Write it down, because that is a perfect analogy of it. There are some people here that find some of the words a little bit tricky. Poetry is tricky. Yes, Christopher? Well, to be honest, don't take the words literally. You have to think outside the box. Well done. You do, Chris. But you know what? Not everybody thinks outside the box, and that's what I'm trying to get them to do. Thank you. That's exactly right. With just a year left at Frederick Bremer, staff are starting to prepare Christopher for life beyond school people feel really safe and secure here. And actually, they get to the end of year 11 and they don't want to go. But excuse me, miss, I say it from across the room. And I gotta admit that you got my attention and making me want to stay up. One student that teachers fear isn't planning for her future is year 11, Makeda. Right, year 11, we have two weeks. Two weeks to final, final coursework in deadline. I said the for you. Too much singing over here. Anyway, um, I miss the atmosphere of school. I miss my friends, like being all together at school. The band are. You <laughs> girls. You girls. It's ridiculous. You. I hope you're coming on you. school. Hey. Hey. I love being a teenager. I love it. Right, ladies, 
you want to run around, go and run around in the playground with all the space. OK, let's go to the yes. playground, please. Thank you. Adults just seem so stressed, like. I'm going to have a job rounding up Paige and Makeda. So you're not in a hurry to be an adult? <laughs> you have to worry about so much stuff. Come on, let's go! Your GCSE is coming up. In any, you should not be focusing on anything apart from that. That is the most important thing to you right now. I don't have a pen. In English, Mr Bisfam is concerned that Makeda's confidence in the playground is not translating to the classroom. Let's read it through. OK. I sit in the top of the wood, my eyes closed. In action, no falsifying dream. Poetry does not like me. It took the whole of creation to produce my foot, my each feather. Makeda is very popular. She's in the right crowd. And that's where she's confident. But you put her in a classroom and she, she doesn't want to put herself out there. OK, so what word would you spotlight on? Creation. Creation? You talk about Hold. creation. Hold. I, mean, I, I don't know. I think... I think if she could never read a poem again, she'd be quite happy. Is he saying that it's a happy, joyous? Is no. he like, oh, love like them, how I love thee? It's what? Like robots. It's robotic. Robotic would be a good word. Does that make any more sense? The fact that you have to analyse where all the commas are and analyse what he's talking about. Sometimes you just want to read the poem and be like, oh, that was a good poem, and move on. Makeda needs to get the C. You will not find a college that doesn't ask for a C in English for pretty much any course. Feel confident. No, I'm not. I'm just guessing. Yeah, you need to be, though. You, you've got the ability to do it. No. You do? <laughs> I really think that she can get it. Hey, Mr. Biz friends, oh, nice to see you pass again. Can I love your shirt now? Oh, do you? I'm loving it too. I'm oh. loving it too. Okay. Glad you like it as well. You're welcome. See ya. It's period four, and Christopher has his English lesson. Thanks, miss. You look good today. Today, he's being supported by his teaching assistant, Miss Aisha. Full of compliments, aren't you, Christopher? Really? Fantastic. Thank you. I think Christopher's like a ray of light, <laughs> a positive light, if I can put it that way. Yeah. Over the years, we've developed a relationship based on trust, I think. OK, I'm going to give you a topic today. Are you going to be for healthy food in school or are you going to be against? OK, so we do sports. What else do we need healthy food for? Chris? For your mental and emotional health. Thank you. That's exactly the answer I was looking for. OK? Cos they say... You can look at someone like Christopher and think, oh, isn't he fantastic, isn't he positive? He's such a great person to have around, which he is. But actually, it can be really challenging sometimes to have autistic pupils in a classroom, and it takes very little to knock him into a far more delicate frame of mind. Dara, what do you say? Because we're still wearing you, um, <laughs> brain development. Brain development, good girl. Mental. Brain development is very good. Oh, my um, God, would you all shut up? Against that, let's have McDonald's at school. Let's have their wimpy. Right, OK. Shh, shh, shh. Where will you get the energy from in junk food, guys? OK, let's look at these two points here, looking at the board. Chris, Chris, looking at the board. When I really feel like I'm concentrating on a task, a particular subject, at my 100%, and then when a, a random particular noise comes out of nowhere, it makes me really upset. I'm all right having a, a big pint of Coca-Cola no, no, and Tanka before I go into a class. And then I don't find that a good feeling. I don't like that. I, you know, I always want to do my best when I learn. Yeah. And why so do people keep tests. looking at me? What ended up happening was that I just saw Michelle look at me. Yeah. I feel like the noise is shredding me. It, 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 it really is annoying. It just is annoying, and I don't like it. Look, 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 look. And when I get annoyed, I, I, I don't feel like myself. I get really upset. Christopher, so, Christopher, it, put it to one side. Has anybody ever seen Are we going to let that worm take over? Do we want that little worm going? Do we want that? No, 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 we don't want that. Sometimes the classes can be a bit 
overwhelming. And it's through those sort of times that it's to keep him on track and just keep him positive, to keep thinking, yes, I can do this, I can achieve. Uh, yes, it's difficult, but I have to overcome these. So just today is to say, you know what? I'm perfect, I'm good, and it's all about to say that to yourself. I'm perfect. I'm good. In my own, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good, and I can do it. I'm in control. Wouldn't that be to extreme saying I'm perfect? I'm perfect in my own way. Yeah. I might not be perfect in other people's eyes. Yeah. So I'm good. I'm perfect in my own way. Yeah. yeah? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Would be positive. Positive. Are we pure? Pure. You're actually the best teacher I've ever met, Miss Aisha for your mental and emotional health. Because they say a healthy body comes with a healthy mind. Part of the challenge for us with Christopher is that he's surrounded by people who really care about him and know how to keep him positive. I worry about what's going to happen when he's in the bigger world. Hello. Morning. Good morning. How are, How are you? you? I've got a shit of a day. I've got an 8.15 appointment, an 8.45 appointment, period one, period two. Hello, how are you? Hey, Mr. Lloyd. Remember, we all know in this school you are the number one best no. meticulous He's man. Probably Superman. But let's not forget, you were the one that founded the name man. <laughs> See you later, number one man. Yeah, man, you are the best man, man. I'm seeing so many men so many times, man. Yo, hello. Hello, Joe. Sorry, hello, Mr. Jane. Hi, Mr. Hello, Mr. McKenzie. Yes, I'm doing fine. You're good? Yes. Have a nice lesson, yeah? Yes, yeah. Bye. Oh, this looks different. It's period two, and year 10 student Christopher has double science. Today, he's accompanied by teaching assistant, Miss Young. Okay, and what's wrong with your hair today? Oh, what happened? Well, you said yeah. better. No, no, it looks different. It is different. I've got a cut. Oh, well, oh, yeah. that's the hair cut you were well, you talking about. <laughs> yeah. Right, I'm going to start off with a recap of what we did last time about rates of reaction. Why well, you all out of your seats and into this little area here for me? Everybody into this area. Come on, chop chop. Um, Chris, are you joining us? You could join us. You need to join us, man. Come on. Stand over in there. Stand over here. So we have this area. This is a container. Come on, a bit closer, come on. Closer, come on, closer. Closer and start moving, come on. Start moving. Start moving. Start moving. Start moving. Start moving. Start moving. Start We're having a reaction. Start moving. Come over here, Christopher. Come over here, you just listen. Move around, move around, move around. Move around, banging into each other now, come on. Autism mostly associates with, um, with the mental inability to socialize and participate in, um, you know, the domains of social activities. Come on, we're fizzing, we're reacting. Sometimes I may feel a bit shy, I could say, like, or introverted in some cases. Maybe I'd say that I'm quite insecure. I think that's some those, that's my true emotion. If I don't cut good, then I may not see myself as an artist. Oh man, please. A bit, little bit tilted. Okay, I won't get anxious. I will just. Oh no, please, please, please. Oh no, I didn't do it properly. I don't like it. I mean, because I normally like things when they're neat. Uh, no, it's fine, look. It's just that little bit there. No, just, just cut no, up that way. I don't want to do it. Do it, it doesn't look neat. Oh man. So silly. He gets very anxious. He, he often thinks people are judging him, um, thinking negatively of him. He doubts himself a lot. You think I'm as, you know, I'm a slacker? That you are? No. You know, that I just mess around and no. act like an idiot. No, you work really hard for me, don't you? beginning to realise that he will leave school next year, in year 11. And I think that's starting to trouble him a bit. It's not a scary world as he thinks. 
But I think for him to see that at this moment is quite difficult, it's quite challenging. Hello. Do you need me? Yeah, give me one second. Yeah. In the old days, I've had a typewriter, I could have gone like that <laughs> with the typewriter. It's break time, and Makeda and her friends are counting down the days until they leave school and have to make decisions about their future. I've got my GCSEs. I'm doing my A-levels. I'm going to uni. Where are you going? Do you get what I mean? What are your aspirations? I want to work as a barrister or I want to become a politician. Right now, I want to do law. When I was younger, I wanted to be a firewoman. As soon as someone tells you you can't do something, you want to do it even more. I would like to go to Brunel University because they specialise in sports. My plan now is not having a plan. My friends are very driven towards what they want and how they're going to get it. Very, like, ambitious. If I don't get into college, then what am I going to do? Right, year 11, we have six lessons left. I want you to treat this properly like an exam. With weeks to go before the year 11 sit their GCSEs, Makeda's two English teachers, Mr Bisfam and Miss Kelly, have set them a series of practice exam papers. Turn over the poems. You have 45 minutes starting now. Go, Makeda, go. You've got 33 minutes left. Sweet me, how you doing? I hate poetry. I've got it all in my head, but it just doesn't come out on the paper. I feel really lost. I think there's a lot of pressure on kids. The idea that you are suddenly reducing your options of what you can achieve in life at 16 is frightening. I just give up. Akita. I give up with the stupid stuff. I'm not doing it. Will you go inside so I can talk to you? Yeah. 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 Makita, you need to just open to the idea that you, you can do this. You can't just go, I can't do it, I'm not doing it. Because yeah, then I you tried, won't be able to. It's not working. Okay, how hard have you tried, really? This just. <sighs> this is stress. But I need you to keep the faith that you're going to keep trying. Because if you lose that, it doesn't matter what we do. Mm. So please don't give up on it just yet. Please don't. Mm. They say they know what I'm capable of and I can pass English. No doubt in my mind. But time's running out so fast. I need to instill the idea that she can do this and making her believe is really the key to getting her to succeed.
OMG. Morning, ladies. Looking lovely. Hi. It's halfway through the spring term, and the year 10s have their careers week. So how long do we, um, how long is this going to be? Just this week. No offence, but in some cases, I don't really see the point of work experience. And you know what it would be like when you leave college and go to work yourself? Um, I don't know what to do when I go, but you know, I'll just live there now and just play and see what I could do. And you know, I see, I see, bye, George. Francis, nice to meet you. Thanks, Thank you. I would like to go to college, study PE, go to university, get my degree. I can work well independently, but I prefer working in a team with people. Christopher, tell me how much margarine. To develop Christopher's life skills, he's helping to organise a biscuit sale. Right, would you, would you do myself. the same and get if that to 100? Yeah, that'll be fine. If I do this myself. Cookies! Which one cookie monster. Cookies. I need some cookies! Christopher! Which one? You have a heart? If I never went to the school, I'm not sure how my life would be. Cookies! I just feel like I feel very safe because, you know, there are a lot of teachers that care. It's like a, a, a similar aspect of a family. Sorry. Oh, what shapes are you going to use this time? I don't care. I am taking care What shapes? Which one? Hard to get. Remember, round the edge. If edges. I know the edge, I'll do this. Yeah. I wish they, they create a sixth form here, but, you know, it's, I don't think it'll be a very happy experience for me to leave at that point. We can't taste it. Really? T tomorrow? Um, no, because we're going to sell them, aren't we? No, I want not. Hey, I, the only reason why I joined this is so I could eat one of the, the ginger men. Well, I'm sure oh, you, oh I'm, okay, I'm, I'm going back to jail one now. No, you'll get to eat some, Christopher. Of course you will. Huh? No, that's the only reason why I joined this place, so I can eat the gingerbread. Oh, no, you'll, I'm sure you'll... It's going to be very, very hard for Christopher to leave this school because we are his comfort zone. He knows our routines. He knows us all very well. He's safe here. And we have got a role to make sure that we prepare Christopher to be able to cope so that he is that little bit more resilient, he is that little bit more confident in taking those steps into the bigger and wider world. Christopher, yeah? can you come with me for a minute? Tomorrow, did I do anything wrong? No! What makes you think you've done something wrong? Next year you'll be in year 11 and then you'll be leaving school at I this. don't want to think of what will happen in the future. No, but All we can hope to do is think of the now. With just a year before Christopher leaves school, Miss Aisha is starting to work on his independence to help his transition to college. Currently, he comes to school by private minibus. Do you remember you were saying that you'd, you'd like to travel on your own? Maybe take the bus on your own and uh, come to school or go and visit your friends? How do you feel about we go on a trip, you and I? Oh. Take the bus to Walthamstow and then we can go down the market Look at some stores. How does that feel? Yeah? Mm, you will the be thing I'm always afraid about is the road, the cars. That's all right. The more practice we do, what does practice do? Make perfect. It does. I yeah. was always afraid. I mean, Wolfram store, how the way the, the roads are, how the way you cross, you know, from um, the, the road is so weird. You've, it's like this bridge over. Mm. For most people with autism, they find the world a puzzling one. It's a bit chaotic, not knowing how people will react, um, what sort of people are going to be out there, if it's going to be a crowded area. It's almost like having a phobia and you can't go out. Christopher, it only looks fearsome because you haven't done it, OK? So the first couple of times, it might seem a bit frightening. But the more we do it, it won't seem Inside some street stupid. Well, I it's think I think you're why? just putting yourself down a bit. You just need to believe in yourself and continue to say to yourself that I can do amazing things. Yeah? Yeah. What do you think? I don't really know. I think we're gonna have a fantastic trip. We're doing Christopher no favours if we try and wrap him in cotton wool and keep him safe. I did have a good lesson, though. See what happens? Because what I don't want when he leaves this school is for him to become reclusive 
because these kind of things become too difficult for him. Oh, you know what? Positivity, Positivity. wins the day. Yeah. All right, we're a bit squashed in here. Have a seat there. Make sure between the two of you, you've got enough space and you're not going to fight or row. Do you want a book to read, Jaden? Business studies? It's interesting. Do, do me a favour, humour me. Take it, pretend you're reading it, OK? OK, mesdames et messieurs. Oui, madame. Willkommen. Yeah. Do you want to do the meeting in French? If you do French, I'll speak in Gujarati. <laughs> I don't speak anything I'm gibberish anymore. Right. OK, so we're going to... Turn to page 45 in your anthologies, please. Why does it say November 1915 at the top? The war. The war? Which war? Who knows? It's just five weeks until GCSE exams start, and concerns about Makeda's progress in lessons have escalated to senior staff. That is a reference to the fact that... Makeda falls very firmly in the new rounds of um, students that need assertive mentoring. She is an absolute priority. Right. It's just frustrating, because we know she can do more, and it's that keeping her focus, balancing the social with the work. As a teacher, when, a, when any child is struggling with confidence, you need to find a way of building it up. You have to just keep on going and keep on going. And, yeah, if in doubt, call Miss Kelly. Right, I want exercise books here. Makeda, I need to ask you something. Thank okay. you. She has an incredibly special relationship with Makeda. She will be able to get through to her in a way that possibly I can't. OK, Makita, now, what I've got to do is um, I'm putting together an assembly for um, International Women's Day. I wondered, how would you feel about doing one of the, the readings? I'd have to read three all For the whole year. No, Miss. Oh, Makita, go on. Miss, that means I have to read to... I didn't really like reading in class. You can do it. It will be... It's a really short piece, and you're going to help write it, so there'll be nothing that you're not comfortable with saying. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -oh. Well, that'd be brilliant. Uh, she wants you to do well. And you want to do well to make her proud. She just feels like she's always there. OK, welcome to our assembly today. Right, move back and stand right at the back there. Take the scarf off. Consider the following shocking statistics. And no, louder! Welcome to our assembly today. She's far more able than she realises, but she's quite shy of um, her own abilities and of, um, and of sharing her ideas. Consider each of the shocking statistics and decide if proving our dreams equally. Could you hear, girls? Do you think louder still? How louder loud still? do you want me to <coughs> belt it out? OK, go again. Ah! Because I can't stop laughing! Right, I've got a lovely chocolate egg. Oh. You get this perfect. OK. The official theme of International Women's Day this year is that of equality. That's what you need to do tomorrow. Yes. I'm really hoping that her standing up in front of assembly will give her that confidence to be able to give her opinion and then hopefully bring that back into the classroom. So, you know my friends thought you and Miss Kelly were married? I had to explain that clearly not. Even though it would be a joy marrying Miss Kelly. Yeah. Miss Kelly would be a lucky woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. My first slide is going to be, is this really a poem about leaves? What do you think about the image? What do you think it shows? Oh, cos loads of soldiers are dying. Beautiful. Hold that thought, so we'll come to that in a minute. In that line, I saw the brown leaves dropping from their tree. Which word do you th would you spotlight? Which is significant? Brown? Yeah, well, I thought so. Cos they're dead. How do you find this poem? Good. I like this one. Woohoo! Brilliant. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Bell. Good morning, Ms. Colvin. Good morning, Ms. Smith. Good morning, Mr. Palumbo. And how are we this morning? I am at top, top. You top banana this morning. Emotional, mental, physical <laughs> condition. <laughs> My sausage roll. For saving it. Billy, you all right? How are you getting on with those? <laughs> Oh dear. Christopher. Christopher. Chris? With only two days until his trip out of school, Christopher's had a bad morning. What's the matter? 
What's made you sad today? I've just been talking to my back. He said that I was immature and held me. And I'm like a bad example. And... What kind of person are you? I don't know. What kind of person are you? Positive. You're Mr. Positive. OK, and positive people think positive. You are a mature person. You have a brilliant personality. You are smart. You are funny. OK, and you are Mr. Positive. Yeah. Now, that's five good things I've said to you this morning that are true. And I want you to believe those five things. I think you're right. Right. So what are we going to do? Right. How are we going to be positive, Chris? I'm having a good day. Having you around the school makes other people more positive. Really? Yeah. You're going to have a really good day, and I'm going to check in on you later. Yeah? See you later. Yeah. <laughs> When I was a lot younger, people used to ridicule me and judge me. They used to use words as retarded, disabled, and, you know, a lot of things. I always wondered, what was it like to be normal? But this term, normal, I think it's just, you know, um, this um, is man-made. Mr. how do you feel about our trip? What do we think? I want to do so many things. You, and you can do something. I don't something. think it's possible. Why don't you think it's possible? Because I don't think anyone would allow me to. Who wouldn't allow you to, Christopher? Myself or, uh, or anyone. Well, Christopher, listen. There's no such thing as I can't or I won't, yes? Give me your hand. That positive energy is a bit low, isn't it? Yeah, so you need to charge up your positive energy. I can't do that. Of course you can. Say to yourself, I'm positive. No. You need to say to yourself, I'm positive. I'm not mentally my prime anymore. Oh. I'm a lot weaker now. Christopher, what happened to the Christopher who's full of life and full of energy? Oh, that Christopher's gone. Gone where? On holiday? Mm. Do I, I need think to I am that Christopher, but that Christopher's changed. Why? Why has Christopher changed? Because he started having doubts and insecurity. About? Just not thinking that I'm doing my best. You need to believe in yourself. Yeah, that, that'll never happen. Why not? I'm not, that, I'm not the type of person to believe in myself. So I believe in you. I believe that you can achieve whatever you want and you can be as positive as you, you allow yourself to be. Christopher, pull yourself up and kick that negativity out of the door. Because there's no place for negativity. It is a balancing act for us to just push him slightly so that we're not pushing him overboard and overwhelming him. Mm. Yeah. Or are we? It's a risk we have to take. Warming up, warming up. I'm doing an assembly to the air today. Are you yeah, it's good. I know all of you lot. This morning, Makeda will be doing a presentation in assembly at the request of her English teacher, Miss Kelly. Right, girls, do you need any last bits of advice? If it was another teacher, I'd probably said no, because I don't like standing in front of a whole assembly. That's just that. And, uh... <laughs> keep, keep, keep it coming. Next row. Fill it up. Thank you. This morning, we're going to have our presentation done by Makeda and Co. on National Women's Day. Thank you.
Welcome to our assembly. The official theme of International Women's Day is that of equality. Um, listen to the following statistics and decide if women are treated equally. On average, women receive 30 to 40% less pay than men for doing the same work. For many of our students, this has been a place where they felt secure and they felt safe and you want to feel you've equipped them with the resilience to know that they can walk out and go into any new environment. Our generation needs to challenge these inequalities and demand a society where everyone can feel, fulfil their potential. And here in England, the level... With Makeda, I want to give her that confidence that she'll be able to, in September, walk into a whole new group of people and walk in possibly to a new assembly hall there and she'll be OK. <laughs> It's not easy standing up and doing this, and I am really, really proud of every single one of you. I want her to bring that new sense of determination into her exam when she's faced with a poem she's never, ever seen before. She'll think, yes, I can do this. So today what we're going to do is we're going to do what we did last week and attempt to have a go at an answer in time conditions. This morning, the Year 11s are sitting one of their last practice papers before their GCSEs. You have 45 minutes. 45 minutes. We shouldn't see faces Ready. looking at us. You should be starting on Ready. your work. It's just nice knowing that they do care. They want you to pass, not for them, like, for yourself, and that like, they can see how hard you're trying, so they want, like, they don't want all your effort to go to waste. You've got 20 minutes. 20 minutes. She really cares that she wants to do well, and she's really starting to put in that effort. Kida, you've used evidence, you've used techniques, you've linked the techniques accurately to the point. This is beginning to look like an answer that's going to be a C. Akita, smile, brilliant star. I hope that just keeps on coming from her because she could do so well. It was that a high five? Yeah, that's the one. You have to start fixing up, like, whether you like it or not. Not coming out of school with nothing to go nowhere. Take care. Work hard. Hello, miss. Let's go for a little walk, people. OK? Come on. We need to get to the uh, drama studio at the other end. All right, there's half hour detention for the last person. Christopher, can we sit down for a minute? Why? Right. So how how come we... I have to sit down? Listen, how are we feeling about going out? I'm not sure. Today, Christopher is going on his trip out of school with Miss Aisha. Why? Because why not now? Oh. I'm not sure if I'm prepared. Actually, I'm not sure if I'm prepared for anything, to be honest. Don't you think most people have that feeling? Really? Because it's a bit uh, unknown, a bit of an unknown, and we've not been there. We haven't done it before. So once we set out, that's the first step, yeah? This is the start of you learning to travel on your own. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I think that's what, in a way, that makes me fear the situation most of all. What do you think? Okay. Yeah, come on then, let's go. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Hmm. The reason actually I've done this mm -hmm. feels because I didn't want to be left out in the world. Oh, no. I don't feel like I blended in with everyone. I don't think I blended in with the Earth. Do that you... feeling made me feel like I, I'm, I was lonely. I think our bus is coming. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say I'd have to be brave and at the same time persevering. And at the same time, I've got to have this intuition that good things are going to come of this, you know? So I'll show you first, OK? So there you go. So if you go now. Mm. Fantastic. Oh. Okay. Are you less anxious now? Well, we're not too far away from the market at the moment, OK? There was a time where I was afraid of roller coasters and I always thought that I was going to die. And before it began, I was asking to the people who was in charge of the roller coaster, um, excuse me, sir, am I going to die? No, it's all right, you're not going to die, just hold on tight. And when he just said that, hold on tight, I just instantly like, oh, wow. 
do you what do you do with them? You cut them and you can eat them. Do you want some strawberries? Yeah. Oh, strawberries, sure. OK, do you want to pick one? Which one? Which one's positive? You pick one that's I positive. think this one's positive. OK. Thank, Thank you. Very much. You too, and have a good okay. day, a positive day. Why do they keep looking at me? They're not looking at you, sweetheart. No, that lady just looked at me more than three times now. I feel awkward now. I don't know. This is just a new experience for me. Is it a nice experience? Yeah, it is, but I just feel scared. And probably it's just what the way people would think of you. I think they all think you're a very smart young man. It's the first step that's the hard part. You've done half the job. You've come out here. Yeah? Yeah. So our first day, do you want to ask the gentleman for the bill? Pay the bill? Yeah. Go and ask. Go, be confident. You're super. Go on. You're a positive young man. Go and say, can I have the bill, please? You can do it. I believe in you. Come on, super duper. You're not going to let me down, are you? No, come on. Go and say, can I have the bill, please? I believe in you, Christopher. You can do this. Come on. Uh, excuse me. Uh, what's the bill? Yeah. Yeah? Well, thank you very much. See? It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah? yeah. I told you you could do it. I just realised something. If the more, the more you're afraid of something, the more exciting the situation could probably be. Bye, have a good day. See you. I'll see you again. <laughs> Actually, they're very nice people. I hope I meet them again. Of course we will. Uh, <laughs> so how's Monty Python doing? He's doing fine. Is he doing fine? Yeah, okay. he went to the School of Silly War. Did he? Hello, sir. I didn't know this day was going to be that fun. It just made me feel so happy. It was an adventure. Christopher is who he wants to be. These days, it seems like there's no term identity. For example, my prospective identity is who I want to be. Wow! <laughs> to all the autistic people that are regarded themselves to be quite unable to do things, I just want them to know that there are always a moment in the future where they are going to succeed and get their dreams what they want. They can aspire to be anything. Biscuits for sale. Ain't that fabulous? You know, it is part of the fabric of this school that we are all different. Regardless of who they are, where they come from, what their background is, I want them to leave this school with the self-confidence and self-belief to be successful. I'd love our kids to look back and think, I remember that 30 seconds conversation I had with Miss or with Sir, and that changed the way I thought about things. That school made me who I am today.